Welcome back, everybody. Toronto, site of the 50th annual All-Star Game, the same place number one was played. Hello, everybody. I'm Gary Tharn, along with Bill Clement, set for an exciting piece of entertainment. Well, these are the most talented athletes in the world, and the one thing they don't get during the regular season is have time and space. Well, there will be time, there will be space, and that is why this will be their showcase here this afternoon. You might think it could be a goaltender's nightmare. To me, the table is set for one of the three goalies on either team to end up being an MVP because they're going to get shots. And this game features a ton of emotion. Wayne Gretzky, of course, on hand here to be recognized. The great stars on hand here. So let the emotions begin. The starting lineup for the World All-Stars. In goal from the St. Louis Blues, number one, Roman Turek. On defense from the Detroit Red Wings, number five, Nicholas Lindstrom. From the Colorado Avalanche, number 18, Sandis Ozovich. And the forwards, from the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim, number 18, Tino Savare. From the Pittsburgh Penguins, this year's top vote getter, number 16, of the starters and the All-Stars. And speaking of All-Stars, Barry Melrose. Thanks, Gary. Wayne, I once saw you get a $300,000 car in one of these deals. That is <laughs> nothing what's compared tonight. How does it feel? What's going through your mind? You're getting the greatest honor ever getting given to a player in the greatest hockey city anywhere. What do you feel right now? I'm pretty excited, obviously. Uh, it's a great thrill just to play in this league. It's the greatest game in the world and have this honor today is a wonderful honor. I'm really excited about the fact that my son will be the last guy to skate out, so it'll be a lot of fun. Sad, happy? Oh, I'm sad I'm not playing, but I'm happy I can enjoy the game. Thanks very much. Right, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Right, Back to you, Gary. The great one who's going to have his number retired, a la Jackie Robinson in baseball.
the holder of virtually every offensive record in National Hockey League history. His number is now permanent retired in the league. It will not be worn again in the NHL. I'm sure everybody that has ever played against Wayne Gretzky will agree with me. I had a chance to play three years against Wayne that it was indeed a privilege to be able to say that you played against the man. That is Ty Gretzky, his son, who he went over to and kissed on the cheek. Gordy Howe was Wayne Gretzky's hero. They have spent the weekend together. The drop of the puck, Yager, Korea, the two All-Stars, And the 99 is gone forever as a number, but not, not only as a memory, but as a real presence still in the game off the ice. Well, we hope that he still stays involved in it because we are obviously going to miss Wayne. Even off the ice, it is such a thrill to run into Wayne and just to say hello. He's been such a huge part of the fabric and the fiber of this game, just as Gordy Howe was for so many years. And this sellout crowd. 19,000 plus will be on hand for this one honoring Wayne Gretzky in our pregame ceremonies. And if you don't think the man continues to feel it, just take a look at those eyes. It looks like what it looks like in a real game when you've been run over by a big defenseman. <laughs> That's what it looks like. A 60 degree angle. Kerry Fraser has the puck and will be dropping it as Kerry's working his second All Star game. And we are underway. The 50th annual All-Star Game wearing number 13 for the world players in the red and white jerseys. Korea dumped it off. The dump into the middle and that's deflected and knocked away to the near side. First good scoring chance of the game. Yarmir Yager will bring it up the other way. Leclerc will get a chance with Eric Lindros. A regular line mate as they'll work together. Leclerc in front of the net. Deflected and batted away to the near side. Roman Turek tested a couple of times. Al McGinnis held that one into Recky. Shot fanned on out in front of the net. Couple of good chances. John LeClaire again was there. That's where he makes a living. Brought back by Victor Kozlov. That'll be gunned in on the wide side. Valerie Burry's out there in front. Burry shot. What a save! Oh my! Curtis Joseph. Eighth leading scorer in the National Hockey League coming into this All-Star game. Adano got it into the middle and a save made. Roman Turk took that one up high. And back in come the World All-Stars. Backhand chance. Milan Hayduk. Great look the year last year to Hayduk in front. Shot hit the post! On the near side, Yuskevich. And a rebound covered and went in. It will count. Great chances. They are calling that one a goal. As they said it crossed the line, Joseph thought it had come out. Not so. And we're on the board. Uh, Don Koharski was standing there pointing at the net, and he was pointing repeatedly. And that's the sign that the goal was in. Solani in Korea. All Korea broke a stick out ahead to the bench. Gomez centered it. It was deflected wide. Eric Lindros. Lindros trying to move by. Did Lindros shot? And right along the post. It went behind, but did not go in. Seniority still matters. Burry will need to set two on one down low, and that deflected just wide. Devil Newman cleared that one off, two on one the other way, and what a save! And no whistle. The goaltenders don't even want it. Roman <laughs> Turek gloved that down. I think Turek's going after the assist. He's number one among the rookie scorers for the Avs. Great save made at the other end again. Curtis Joseph lightning quick on that one. Whitney tied him up, stolen, Messier, Messier dropped it, Whitney, what a save made! A tremendous reach, Roman Turek. Even the D, of course, joined the play, Yarmir Yager got it back into the middle shot, that deflected, Yager scores! Well, even the best saves from Curtis Joseph can only hold off the chance after chance. I mean, this is what I call the lookout defense. The guys that are skating out front, are looking around at their goaltenders and yelling. Welcome back here to Toronto where Mike Richter, the goaltender for the New York Rangers, is about to get in the net in the third period. James Gibbs from Greenwich, Connecticut asked, what's it like sitting on the bench getting ready for this shooting gallery? Well, fortunately there's one guy I'm taller than, and that's you, Darren, so I can see a little <laughs> bit of the game. The rest of these guys are pretty large, so I gotta pick and choose, but actually I, I'm a fan for two periods. I watch the game, I got a great seat. And then I get into it in between the second and third, warm up a little bit, and then go out for the third. I'm excited to play. Just overpowering you or with his finesse. Mark Recky got it off to Whitney. Set up. Score! What a play! Ray Whitney threw that one over to the near side and unselfishly gave himself up a chance. Joe Sackick will be credited with the goal, and it is a 2-1 All-Star game. Oh, oh. Folks, when you see the replay on this one, 
was added to the roster in his favor, and he comes away with an assist. Bure, the both of them out there, off the near side. Joseph couldn't get that one. Dmitry Yaskevich coming in from the blue line, and as we said, it's a charge to the net, and it is 3-1. Ozilic, the leading defenseman in scoring, intercepted shot, what a save! Curtis Joseph, an unbelievable save! And Chris Chelios just went back to him and tapped him on the pads and said, I am sorry. Radic Bach on the off-wing side, shot, save! And he reached back and it did not go in! <laughs> Curtis Joseph putting on a show here in this game. Dmitry Iskavich two on one. Out through center. Jeremy Roenick played back but not very well. Near side. Score Roenick! Roman Turek, his own worst enemy on that uh, misplay. We want to remember her. She's out in St. Paul today. Great to have you with us. Right back in. World on top by a score of 3 2. Yeah, that's a rocket. So Martin Brodeur didn't even get a chance to make a save as the Murrays have a say here in the second period. Look near side, Patrick Gilliard, and a save made Brodeur on his own teammate. That one rolled out. Look at this, Brendan Shanahan. Shanahan and Shanahan, and the save. Kicked off rebound, Korea did not score. Paul oh, Korea denied a great chance, Tommy Salo. And Korea's going, what? Going, all I had to do was put it under the crossbar. Eisenman coming, looking for Whitney, the tip, and that one will go wide. And the rush up ice was led by Pronger, another one down the middle, Leclerc! Salo kicked that one away. So they're out there for a minute, minute and a half. Bill Housley led the charge, and the save by Tommy Salo! Played back by Tony Amani, Mike Madano. This is the All-American unit. And the save by Tommy Salo! Oh. Once, twice, rebound came loose, but a whistle! Mercy, Phil Housley, four pokes at it. They need to get a change over the boards. Shots up to 24-19. World still has the advantage. And they get another one. Pretty wide side goal. And the Murray brothers had it again. Pavel Murray on that wide side. Didn't have much of an angle. But he meet Martin Brodeur in the world. Takes a 5-2 lead. And they got caught in a line change. Whitney in Florida Panthers. And Salo won't let him throw. These aren't just shots. These are legitimate scoring chances. Going to add another one here in a minute. Shot score! Tony Amati. Well, that might be the only way that the North American team can beat Tommy Salo, and that is get him flat on his face first. Demetra will head back into the middle, gets the return pass, backhand chance, Brodeur! Backhand chance, Brodeur! Knocked away, Burry! Brodeur! Taken back by Sundin, Sundin, Sundin cross pass, Brodeur out once, twice, Chelios was there to help! They gotta be impressed with the performance of Whitney Desjardins trying to set him up! Tommy Sella waiting in front, SCORE! You gotta be impressed with Ray Whitney! <laughs> and right on cue, Ray rips one home. And no, he is not wired, and no, he cannot hear us. Tony Amati, Amati looking round it! Big time wind up. But once a goaltender can see the whole thing like Kolzig did there, you make a save. Little unselfish play, Zuboff there to get it. Ended up being a two on one. Zuboff moved it back into the middle. Set up, Shatan at the post! One of the San Jose Sharks that was standing talking to Brendan Shanahan, so they decided there wasn't an easy place to score on Tommy Salo. And there goes another one. Shanahan hit that one off the crossbar that deflected up in the air. So Shanahan with another great chance. Yager dropped it off. They'll look back into the middle and almost fanned on Radic Bonk. Yow, uh, let's check in with Darren Pang. It remains a 5-4 world lead. Darren. Thanks, fellas. Really enjoyed that uh, interview with uh, with Brian Engblom. We got, a, we got a question for you, Scotty, from Drew Hinkle in, in Bangor, Pennsylvania. Would you give up your jersey just to watch Gretzky play in one more All-Star game? Oh, for sure. Probably give up a lot more than that, you know. Uh, definitely. Not even, uh, wouldn't even think about it. It's been a pleasure here, huh? Oh, it's been unbelievable. You know, it's it's a dream come true for sure. Now, your your father actually told Brian that you don't take out the garbage when you get back. What's up with that? Oh, man, I don't want to do nothing when I go home. and <laughs> That's his job. <laughs> go get a goal, would you? Yeah, all right. Three on two the other way for the World All-Stars. Hey, Duke brings it in. Dropped it. Hey, Duke down the middle. Backhand chance. Score! What a setup by Hey, Duke! Oh. oh, man, that was that one great pass, and Richter had no chance on that one. That's those plays just aren't fair. I mean, on the pretty play scale, this one's going to rank about an eight. Provo coming up right here in ABC after a game in Toronto. Centering pass on a 
shoot, save. The Burrys back out with Kozlov now. Pablo Burrys looking for the hat trick as well. Score! Gotcha! Pablo Burry! The 11th hat trick in All Star history by 10 different players. And he's closer to that Dodge truck at an MVP. He can hear that engine revving up right about now. But now that lead back up to three. Miroslav Shatan dropped it into the middle. Shot and a big time save by Richter. Zuboff dropped it back into the middle. World All Stars back on the attack. Another three on two. Poke check. Pronger score! It is an 8 4 game. And the passing is absolutely phenomenal here as these players continue to drive the net. Zuboff also does the same. Down low, shot! Just hit the side of the net, Temu Solani. Stevens the only man back in the middle. Desjardins coming back to help with the shot. Hit the outside of the net, Matt Sundin. Up, not out. Chelios a shot, blasted wide. Ronick again, and a save made on the near side. Colsey. So he's still up ice. He's still there. Amani looking for him. There he is. Ronick back and forehand, no shot. I want to use a football reference here too. People in Green Bay know what it's like to wait for season tickets. There's a waiting list of over 50,000 there. Well, for hockey here in Toronto, it's the same kind of thing. I talked to one man here. He put his name on the list for season tickets. He waited nine years. It's tough to come by tickets like this here in Toronto. Just the nine years, huh, Brian? Yep, just nine. <laughs> okay. They love their hockey. I mean, they live and breathe hockey here in Toronto, and they have made such a great event out of this, not just for this weekend, but for months. They have had all kinds of activities related to the All-Star game. He lost it. Eisenman turns it back on top. Chris Chelios leaves it far side. Leclerc set up in front. Housley moved in. Save made by... Colsey. Yarmir Yager out there has got a man. Radek Bonk in front. Shot hit the post. That's good. It went in. Radek Bonk set up by Yarmir Yager and the World All-Stars with only 31 seconds left have a 9-4 lead. Boy, they came together as only brothers can in this tilt. Bonk from Yager and Rosinski the final goal and that's it. The 50th NHL All-Star game concluded here in Toronto. The World All-Stars 9. North American All-Stars 4, we'll be right back. Uh, a great trait to see two brothers, number one, who care so much about one another and then have such a day to remember. We always say that Paul Valbury is unstoppable, obviously not only during the regular season. And an MVP trophy to take home uh, for Paul Valbury as the two of them set a new record in points. Brian. Thanks very much, Gary. I'm here with Pavel Burry, the MVP of this All-Star game. And Pavel, you got a chance to play with your brother Valerie for the first time in an All-Star game. Must have been a lot of fun. Well, I think that's why I got MVP, because my brother was playing with me, and he set me up twice, and he just was great tonight. Three different goalies to play against. You scored against a couple of them. That was a little bit different look, too, huh? Was it fun? Oh, uh, you know, usually it's pretty hard for me to score against any goalie, especially against those guys who I played against. But, you know, most important thing, we just got all together here, and we had lots of fun. Well, you got a nice trophy there. You also get a nice Dodge truck. You can do a little four-wheeling. I think I'm going to split with my brother. <laughs> Thanks very much, Pavel. Yeah. Gary? Well, uh, all kinds of smiles going on there, I'll tell you, with the two of them who have beat the great Richard brothers, who prior to this game had held the record for most points by a brothers in an all-star game. Now it's going to be the Burr race.